Oh, it's you. Welcome back to the channel. We got repairs that we do here. It's a repair shop. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're interested in repair. You're not interested in me. So, <laughs> anyways, we got this MSI laptop. It's really cool. Look at this. Man, I love their logo. I love the dragon logo. Man, I am a sucker for this dragon logo. Um, if you ever look at um, the mascot for it too, it's this little one. Oh my gosh, I can't even with. Anyways, we're here for a repair. We got the MSI Pulse GL66. Really nice MSI laptop here. Let's go ahead and try to turn it on. It's not turning on. That's not the problem here. There was another problem. Well, it's not charged. So, yeah, we need to charge it first. Let's charge it. Plug it in. Should get it going, huh? There we go. We got the RGB keyboard. But this is the problem, man. It just sticks here. There's no display. And it hangs out with no display. You see that the keyboard? RGB layout. And see that green color? Yeah, really nice, cool green color. But it just kind of sits there. It hangs there. There's no display going on. And we need to see what the problem is. We don't really know. Really something interesting that if you actually look at the bottom here, there's ventilation here on the bottom, which is a good thing. Ventilation is a good thing. But what's a bad thing is that it's a lot of areas exposed. And we actually see close to here on my right hand, we can actually see there is like <laughs> you can see the SSD. You can almost touch it. You can look at it and stuff can get in there. We don't really want to be doing that. So look, we still have no display. Still nothing came up. It's just a black screen. So what could be the problem? Let's go ahead and take a look at it right now. I like these ones. A lot of the modern ones or anything that has like anything modern. Um, usually you just open up with a bomb cover. Man, if you ever go back in the day, you have the older MSI, older Asus, the big ones. They're great for cooling. They last a long time. But man, if you try to fix anything in there, it's always a pain to open completely. And the seal is broken. Can you see that? It is. It's actually broken. It's before me. So I can still feel the laptop feels like it's still on. I thought I turned it off, but it's fine. Let's go ahead. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. There we go. Uh, there we go. Okay. So we have this up now. It's still on. Let's go for safety. Unplug the battery. You see the fans actually spinning there. Okay, so yeah, that's a GPU one. So if one fan was spinning, that's the main CPU fan and there's a GPU fan, but we get what? Nothing. So everything exposed here. It's probably better that there, it would be nice if there's like a little bit of a net here. Um, I know it's more for ventilation and air. That's another thing, but droplets or anything to get, it can easily touch the board. Um, these holes are very big. And they're very easy to go ahead and drop something in there. So now we're going to be taking a look. What's going on? So let's try it again. Uh, let's um, since we have the battery unplugged, it was just powered on without it. Um, test to see what's going on. Okay. So if I plug it in here, is this a power button? Am I hitting the power button? There we go. Oh, you saw the red light. There's a red light here too. So the SSD has a red light. We got the fan spin. On this side, we get our green RGB keyboard, but looks like same thing again, right? So let's unplug this. Well, there's no display, right? Um, the CPU, GPU is getting warm. Now this is still a very new laptop. Um, just by the design, I can tell it's a little bit newer. I would really hate to say if this was like a video problem, right? Especially if you're getting no display out. Um, that would be a real unfortunate thing there. But I do see that we have here, we have an NVMe drive. And if you actually watched our previous videos, we had an Asus one. It was giving a very similar issue that there was a problem with the drive itself. Um, this one, I do not believe this is an OEM drive that came with it. Let me zoom in. You guys are like, what are you talking about? Why well, I can't see it. This is a regular NVMe drive. Um, it has thermal pads and stuff, but I, we saw that the seal was broken and this looks like a pretty big drive. Um, comes with a five year manufacturer's warranty, right? Maybe this is the problem. So the reason why we're thinking this is because this is aftermarket. Uh, even looks to be a little bit lifted here on the edge here. It's a little bit harder to see. So maybe the customer replaced it. Um, especially if they buy like, uh, if you buy any type of like device itself, right? Especially on a gaming one, it's really nice to be replacing parts in there, um, especially for upgradability, right? And that's the whole point. Especially if you have like a Steam Deck or the ROG Ally, that's another one too, um, a big, thing for it is pricing is what it's based on SSD. So sometimes people want to upgrade the SSD. So let's go ahead and remove this. 
Let's take this out. Ooh, it's nice. You want to be careful because those thermal pads are there. Thermal pads help, obviously, for thermals. So I did look this up. This is actually a two terabyte NVMe drive, and it has a, <laughs> has a five year warranty on it. So that's most likely uh, the upgrade there. Um, let's go ahead and see. Now, if this, if we plug it in, and what's going to happen? See if behavior changes. We have the battery out, right, and stuff too. Uh, you guys can't see anything still. Eh. Yes, I'm doing a lot of stuff. It's a very busy work area. Fan spin, keyboard light on. Oh, look at that! We got the MSI logo. Okay, and we're in a BIOS. So, um, let's just play games, right? Let's just play blah blah blah. And let's unplug it, and let's try plugging it back in, and seeing if we get the same type of symptom here, right? So it's off right now. Let's try plugging in. Probably get the same thing, right? Where it's uh, no display. Fan spin. Da, 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 da. All right, we got our fan spin. Press the power button. We get the green RGB ones there. And we get no display again, all right? But let's take it out. Let's do it one more time. Let's plug it in. Just to verify our testing. It takes a little bit of a while for us to thing to kick up. There you go, fan spin. And you see how fast it'll come, right? Yep, boom, comes way fast there. All right, so it looks like that we do have a problem with this uh, NVMe drive itself. Um, let's verify that too. We have two, we're, we can do two things. Let's go ahead and just plug it in. This is an NVMe drive. It's not your typical uh, static drive, even though it has the M.2 format. Uh, and it has a certain protocol, so it's a little bit different. All right, so I got my little NVMe adapter here. It's really nice. I actually love this thing. It's so cool. So I'm going to plug it in like this. It just hangs out there. <laughs> Stands up, I guess. Everybody stand up. All right, so let's plug it in. It's USB-C. Um, yeah, so let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it took so long. All right, so it says this F is not accessible. And look, there it goes. It took a very, very long time to come up there. I was just about to pull it out. That's why I switched the scenes. Okay, so let's go to disk management. And this, you could usually see your hard drives. If you're not sure, you guys just right click the windows. You can go to disk management here, but we can go down. Okay, we, so we do see that there it is online and there is a disk here, but we can't do anything, right? So it does realize that there is a USB device here, something, but mm, nothing, can't actually see anything else there. So just like a USB connected device, obviously that's my adapter. It's going there, but there's nothing showing up there. I don't know why it took so long, but there is a problem with this drive, big problem, right? And that's very obvious to tell here. So let's disconnect it because I don't want to <laughs> short out my desktop. And we could do a pretty cool test just to know for it to work. Um, if the customer needs data, we could do a data recovery on that. We need to see what's going on. If it's this new, maybe there's a controller issue, or something else going on. Um, I don't know. Maybe they plugged it in, maybe shorted out the thing. I don't know what happened, but that'll be something more for data recovery. Um, if you're interested in that, we have some videos uh, showing that one, talking about that. But I have a good one here. Let's grab this NVMe. Let's go ahead and test it. Let's plug this in here, see if this just works. So we're going to turn it on. If you hold it down with its pad, there we go there. Sticks a little better. Let's see if we get anything. It takes a while to turn on, doesn't it? There's a lot going on. Hello. There we go. So this has Windows 11 on it, so it should actually just boot. There you go. Let's see if it boots to Windows. There you go. We got a little circle there. That should boot all the way. And really, that should be about it. We can put in any type of NVMe that we want there. Look, it's really fast. Okay, so that seems to be the issue. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on fixing the MSI GL66 on the MSI Pulse GL66. Uh, looks like that this was an NVMe upgrade. Maybe it's gone bad. Don't really know. Um, for any of these ones, whenever you're, remember they say that it's like user upgradable, you always still need to be really careful. There still could be problems there. Sometimes it's not very simple that you may think. You might have a bad drive, who really knows. Um, whenever you do this, always make sure, especially if you have like 
any of the ones like this in any especially the handhelds that are out there you need to be really careful by removing it just removing it anyway can be a little bit of a pain you need to be careful you don't want to damage something rip something there's lots of cables even the battery connection is so easy to damage there too you can do that you could short out something especially if it's turned on um, or if you have something connected, you don't want to be removing something while it's connected and powered on and stuff. You always want to be really careful. And there should not be ever a lot of struggle um, ever for plugging in anything. It should just slot right in there. It should be, they have drives that are, and especially the cables that are called ZIF, which is zero insertion force. Um, most of the, the cases that should be it for, for these anyway. Um, and it's good to test out something before you plug it into your machine because you don't know what the problem is. It can short out the whole entire machine. This is a case where it looks like it could be like a video or it could be a video or data line problem where it's just like an NVMe storage thing. And especially if you have data that's on there, that's important or you, you use it from something before you plug it in. Who really knows? And again, you need to partition this to make sure it's fine. It's going to work for Windows, especially who knows where it came from and stuff. Um, always try to get the highest quality ones you can. There's lots of NVMe manufacturers out there. There's some that are really, really cheap. They might have a cheaper NAND, a cheaper controller. They fill easier too. And um, and I can make a whole separate video, I guess, talking about that. But hey, man, if someone wants to give me a sponsor for that, I would love to hype up somebody, right? <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like, really just help us a lot, subscribe for more content. See you guys next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.